Remember those like Kavu sling bags that girls would always wear in like high school and college? At least when I was in high school and college, I don't know. I might have just aged myself. Anyways, they made a disc golf bag and I've got a, uh, I've got mixed feelings about it. Let's talk about it. So the first thing you're gonna notice about it is it's it's a pretty pretty basic bag actually. There's not much like really showy about it. It's just a basic formed bag. Like it's made out of some nice materials. Like I'm pretty sure it's the same kind of stuff they use on all their like Kavu sling bags, but Kavu makes nice bags. They know good like outdoorsy materials. But the first thing I notice about it is that this can actually fit a good amount of discs. Like I brought out all my destroyers, I had 20 destroyers and I could fit all of them in the main pocket and I still even had some room in it. So I grabbed a couple wraiths, I think I had like five wraiths in there. It was a little snug but you can get each disc out comfortably. Part of the reason for that is that it's a pretty flexible bag. So even when there was like all those discs in there, you could still get them out pretty easily like it wasn't a trouble at all so the main pocket could fit like 25 discs granted those are all drivers so i got my my bag my normal bag so i had four mid ranges three putters i think five fairways and five distance drivers that's what i normally carry in my grip bag and when i threw it into this bag it all fit in there really nicely and there was plenty more room so then i got a couple more discs. So like all the discs that I would normally pack extras when it's windy. So like I got a couple extra destroyers, an overstable mid-range, an extra Firebird in there. Still all in the main pocket. With my grip bag, I would basically be able to fit all those normal stuff. So like the four mid-ranges, three putters, five fairways, and the five distance drivers. And that would be it. The rest of them I'd have to like stuff in other places. I could still squeeze my extra Firebird in there but this held all of it comfortably and it didn't even use the extra storage in there that I'm gonna get to and later but and the main compartment is actually like you've got this this little divider here it, it comes with the bag so you're gonna divide your discs if you're not filling it up so they don't completely shake around or whatever and what's nice is you can put them put it like all the way in the back and velcro it against the back velcro so now I don't have to worry about losing it in some far away storage whenever I do want to use it. But the nice thing is like this whole inside compartment here is like a cooler material. So you can either like take all your discs out or keep it like halfway filled with discs and the other half use as like a, a cooler type of bag. So you can fit some drinks in there if you're, you, if you want to do that. So, which is kind of cool. Never really, are there other bags that do that? Like in the main compartment? I don't, without like an, a separate attachment is what I'm talking about, but got like another putter style pocket up back up here which you can put a couple discs right here if you want the nice thing about it is that because again because this pocket is so huge you can put a couple putters in that front pocket and still have pretty easy access to the discs up front so that's ob obviously really nice so like the main thing that they needed storage for these discs in the main pocket they they nailed i'm in my opinion and then the, the flap you've got this little like loop thing to tie it up to make sure that the the flap stays stays open for you nothing nothing too fancy pretty simple nice stuff oh and they got these like loop things here which are interesting like it's a cool look like this is kind of like the kavu brand look but i don't know what the utility of them is like you can put like your keychains, bag tags, like towels on it, but even like a towel, like even the flight towel, putting it on this, it's so low that it's still like, is, is still dragging on the, on the on the ground, so. And not only that, but now then, then they're in the way to like access the, the main pocket here. So I don't know, I don't know what they were going on with this. It looks cool though, definitely looks cool. And it's like a Kavu branded thing. When you think of Kavu, you think of like this kind of pattern stuff, kind of like Chaco's. Ooh. Chaco's needs to come in and make some disc golf shoes. And then you've got like some pretty good storage on the side here. Again, you can fit a couple more discs. So like before with the destroyers, I fit another four wraiths in the side pocket here. So then that was, that was what, like 25, 29 discs in this, the main pocket and the side pocket. And that's not even including like, you put two putters in the front. You got your two putters up top. So that's what, 29, 33 discs that's that's pretty good 
but if you go like if you go like normal discs then I think I had like the extra four wraiths in here I think you can fit five destroyers as well so like those are a little bit thinner than the wraiths four or five drivers in here you have the main pocket here and I think you can fit like 20 like close to 30 total discs even with a mix of like mid-ranges putters drivers so you can fit a lot of discs in here a lot more than my my standard grip bag problem i have with this pocket though is that there's there's nothing there's nothing in here in terms of like extra pockets or dividers or storage it's just one giant pocket so you can fit a lot in there but like anything that you're bringing with you on, on a disc golf course unless you want it in these like you got like mesh pockets here or this top pocket, but if you don't want it wet or in the elements, you've got to shove it all in here, like in the same main pocket. So like your phone, a mini, like your a marker, maybe like nail clippers, a couple of towels. You just got to shove it all in here and it's not going to be pretty. It would be nice to have like a couple dividers here for the future bags. It's pretty basic there. This side does not have the big zipper pocket on the side. It's just for stools or in my case a tripod maybe. These straps are nice. You've got this little like you can pull it tight but then you can pull this to not have the the excess strap dangling around. That would have been nice on the backpack straps because they, these just dangle around and like with my grip bag I have the bag before they implemented the tie downs but like you step on it and you when you pick up your bag and it just like zoop, all the way tight and you're just like oh i can't put it on these mesh pockets are nice but it, i would like to have a more secure place to put like my phone because maybe on a sunny day it would be nice to put it here but if it's like today it's kind of misty muddy gross out and i would not i wouldn't trust my phone in that all day i i just I wouldn't want it out in the elements. I want it safe inside a zip up pocket and not just shoved in a pile of things on the sides. But they do have this pocket here, which I think, I don't really know exactly what they were wanting to go with it. I mean, they probably, it's probably multi-purpose. You can either put like a mini in there if you want. Like it's pretty deep for a mini though, a phone. But it, again, it's like kind of loose and one of those things where if the bag tips over, your phone could fall out. You can also put like a dirt bag, which is probably what I would use it most for, keeping like a dirt bag or drive bag or whatever kind of bag that you have to for your hands, keep it in here. The water bottle holder is another weird thing that I'm that I, uh, not a huge fan of. Don't get me wrong, it keeps it secure in here, but it, it cinches shut like this, and then you, you can't put it in with one hand. If it's on your back, and you're wanting a quick like just sheath your your water bottle it's not it's not gonna happen like you've got to take it off and use two hands to like get it properly in there now when it gets properly in there it's not moving and you might think like with the look of it here that it's gonna be hitting against your back or make you uncomfortable it's not like the back is actually pretty comfortable like it's there is nothing special on the back the straps are thin they have the nylon it's all like that breathable material but there's really nothing special there's no like rigid back so it's pretty soft as well it is kind of nice because it forms to your back when you wear it it's pretty comfortable and this water bottle really doesn't get in the way whenever you wear it so it's it's pretty it sits pretty flat and safe on your back but the other thing is like the bottom here you've just got these feet that's it which those feet aren't great like I know there's a lot of bags that have those feet on them the, the bigger difference is what we're going to talk about afterwards but there, there could be more like my grip bag Grip bag has these nice big rails. Yes, this is dirty and torn up anyways, but this is, I've had this bag for 10 years now, and this is what it looks like. Never had it replaced or returned or repaired or anything like that. And the rails are great. It gives me a lot of confidence setting it anywhere and not really, like it doesn't affect the inside of the bag at all. But the other complaint is like the top pocket. They had like early, early models. Like I think they were like prototype models that had like this whole top pocket was open and you can open it up and it's a fold pocket there. Honestly, that would have been amazing. I would have loved that. Like if they make it a little bit deeper, I know they said it was like a shallow pocket and that's why they made it this to fit putters better. You can fit two putters up here, but there's no mechanism to drop it down. So, so they sit up like this, you can fit them in there pretty easily, but there's no way to put it down into the bag and you can't, you can't zip it up. So 
So like when you're playing in the middle of the round or something, it's not that big of a deal because you're just gonna have it open. But if you're ever traveling, like you want to like drop your putters down in there, zip it up and know they're secure and the bag's all zipped up and secure for travel. And there's no, there's no way to do that here. You have to put these putters somewhere else, like throw them in the middle of the bag and zip it up and have it all loose. And there's just like a lot of space up here that's just not, it's just not being used. And I don't know, it seems like you could put another, either like another storage pocket and grips have like a cool mechanism where you can like cinch it up to make sure the putters are out, but then you can cinch it back down to be able to close it afterwards. Just something like that. Because the last thing that just really makes this like really difficult for me is the price. This thing, it's $140 in the US. Like if you gave this to me and you had me show it to me, I'd look at it and be like, this is like a solid bag. This is a solid bag for like 75, 80 bucks. Like Wes has his Latitude 64 bag. It can fit just as much as this and it almost has more storage, but it's built similarly. It has the same feet. It has like the same non-adjustable putter pocket, but it's a little deeper so you can zip it up. And there's no like rigid form fitting thing which all of that is fine in a disc golf bag if it's under $100. This this being 140 bucks when you can buy a like grip bag for not much more than it. If you get it on sale, it's probably close to the same price. Granted they're not going to fit as many discs, but you get a much nicer bag for that price. It's just a hard sell for me. And with Kavu, like I I, I get the feeling that they don't want to put the price down because they want a more premium like feel to their brand and that's that's totally fine do that but make it a premium bag there's so much competition in the bag space right now especially in the like 70 to 80 dollar price range that is like similar quality to this in my opinion you've either got to go the budget side and have like a, a really bang for your buck product and have like this kind of quality at 80 bucks or 75 bucks or you've got to go all out and be like we've got premium bags like pound like they're it's pound is fine with selling $400 bags but they make it worth $400 there's no middle ground here in the in the bag space in my opinion right now the competition is is good and I just don't like I have really mixed feelings about it like on one hand I think it's great that a company like Kavu is coming into the disc golf space like bigger brands coming into the sport is just gonna bring, it's just gonna make the sport better. Like it's gonna bring more products in, it bring more com competition in, and more competition in anything, the consumers are the ones who win. So if you don't agree with me on that, then sorry, that's just, I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> so on one hand, I'm glad that Kavu's in here in this in the game of, of disc golf now, but it's, I, I think they're gonna have a hard time competing with this bag unless you have the people who just want the the Kavu name on their back, which it might have might be a big crowd, might not, I don't know. So I really hope Kavu can make like a solid bag because they have the resources and the ability to, in my opinion, to make like a really high-end bag. But yeah, in my opinion, this is just, wow, it just got really bright. Hopefully you can still see me. But in my opinion, I just I just think they, they missed the, missed the mark on this with the price. That's the only thing. Um, this would be a solid bag if it was under $100. $140. <sighs> it's a hard sell, but let me know what you think in the comments. Interested to see if any of you are huge coffee fans and interested to see what your thoughts on the bag, but thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.